Today, I'm driving the 2021 Mazda 3 GT manual transmission. This is not the turbo version. This is the standard 2.5 liter four cylinder that makes about 186 horsepower. It's a comparison and of course a quick drag race between this and the 2021 Forte 5 GT manual transmission. This is gonna be quite interesting. Both are hatchbacks, five doors, whatever you wanna call them. So today, we're going to find out which one is the fastest. Now, my money is on the Kia, and I'll tell you why. I've driven them both, but I do think that Kia, it's pretty quick because of that turbocharged, as you can see right beside me. Now, let's start and race. Come on, Mazda, Jesus Christ, this thing just stalled completely. So hard to get it off the line. God, sometimes it's just hard to do manual transmissions. This was not the best takeoff from Mazda. Okay, this time again in normal mode, a second run. I'm good to go because I didn't have a good, yeah. Come on, Mazda, come on, oh. Yeah, he got me, that turbo is kicking in. I'm pedal to the metal, come on. 6,000 RPM, third gear and 150. Okay, so the next one we're going to do is, again, uh, this doesn't have any sport mode. I'm trying to see if there's no sport mode. Um, but what I'm gonna do is turn off traction and maybe that will give me, hold it, turn off everything and I'm good to go. So again, Richard, you put yours in sport mode. I'm gonna turn off traction on mine. I'm good to go. All right. A lot of spinning. Ah, this thing just spins. I got him, it didn't have a good takeoff. 5,000 RPM, 6,000 and shift. It doesn't allow you past that and I got this one. just spinning and I'm spinning as well. What? This car's just spin. Not having good traction, not having good traction. He's faster, he is way faster. Oh, come on! It's like 4,000 RPM and it doesn't go fast. Come on! Oh, he, I, he is days ahead of me, like just crazy.
Well, that was it, everyone. Thanks for watching. Um, again, like it's an interesting race. Like this is actually probably the slowest race I've been into. Um, but they're still quite interesting to see, right? Because you want to find out which one is the fastest. He is doing fantastic in manual shifting. I'd say I tried as well. We did that. It's it's not far off. Like the only problem with this doesn't have the turbo. If this had the 2.5 liter turbo that makes 250 horsepower, you would be three days three cars, four buses, I'd say, ahead of that. But that has a turbocharged and that's the difference. Now, here's a few things you need to know between these two. That's cheaper than this in terms of MSRP. That was about $28,000 Canadian, this is about $30,000 Canadian, which is about $2,000 difference, right? But here's what the Mazda offers that you don't get in that. That premium feeling that you get in this Mazda, it's not in that. But that has a few tech features that I noticed. So for example, wireless charging pad is in there. This doesn't have it, but this has power seats. Uh, passenger not, doesn't have power seat, but the driver does have with the manual transmission. They're two both fantastic cars. This is just less aggressive uh, in terms of horsepower as that one. That one can go, but even that you're just spinning most of the time because you can't put the power down and warm up the tires we did everything i think both vehicles are fantastic in terms of driving experience in my opinion i like the mazda driving on a highway to me that's a bit not as comfortable on the road compared to the mazda i love the mazda on the interior it looks more premium feels more premium that's what i love about this car but again you're going to pay slightly more for this than you're paying for the forte 5 both two cars, both cars are great. You can't go wrong with either or, but my preference, I'd say the Mazda. I just enjoy this a bit more and it actually looks better on the outside. Let's be honest, that's just my opinion, but maybe mo most of you will agree with it. I think this looks better than the Kia. With that in mind, special thanks goes to Richard. Today we are at Toronto Motorsport in Cayuga, Ontario, Canada. Stay safe, cheers.